Hey. It's very common for amateurs to twist their wrist while they're playing pool. This part of your hand, the top part of your hand, should be 90 degrees from the floor all the way through your stroke. And I see guys doing this. I see guys doing this. And all kinds of other stuff. You'll never have a consistent stroke until this part of your hand is 90 degrees from the floor all the way through your stroke. Let's get on. taking the stripes here and this is a peculiar case actually I think the solids are an easier run out but for whatever reason when I stepped up to this table I said I like the stripes so I'm gonna shoot the stripes yeah I don't know um and I screwed this up and I have to change my plan in the middle of the game, but that's okay. That's that's part of all pool games. Sometimes things don't go perfect. And um, I start out shooting this 12 ball here, but then when I shot the 15, all was fine until I got bad on the 11 ball. But let's jump back a little bit. Where's the 8 ball? And here we find it right here. And another reason this table is a very strange layout is if we take the stripes, uh, we have every single pocket on this table available to shoot that apel. Yeah, and I'm, I'm going to shoot it down here because I see the key ball is going to be the 14 to get to that 8. So let's go back and I'm going to show you my entire pattern for this run out. And again, it's a little bit unusual and I really don't know exactly why I thought this way. We keep half of this pattern throughout the game actually more than half of it but it changes drastically uh, right when I shoot the 11 and this will make more sense to you after I show you what I was scheming in my head for this run out and I'm starting with the 12 ball and I'm, I'm coming up high and a little bit on the right side of the 15 ball line because I need to come down and use that bottom round to get back on the 11 ball. So I'm going 12, 15, 11, and you might ask why 11 and why not uh, the 13 ball? And this will make sense to you in a minute once we get through the 15. And here we are on the 15, and I'm bouncing off that bottom round, coming back up table, trying to get straight in on that 11 ball. And the reason I let the 13 go for now is because I need that 13 to get back on that 9 ball to continue the plan. And the plan is just to pull back a little bit on the 11 and get straight in on the 13 because I want to hit a stop shot on that 13 because that's the perfect angle on the 9 to get right on this 10 ball. And it's a simple stop shot on the 13 and now you'll see why I saved that 13 for that 9 ball shot to get right on the 10. And this was the most dangerous part of the plan. And, you know, accidents are funny things. They can be blessings in disguise. And you'll see what I mean when we go through this game. I'm trying to get up under that 10 ball line so I can stun the cue ball out for a shot on that 14. And I'll show you another graphic for that. And I'm stunned drawing it out for absolutely straight in shot on the 14. And then I'm just rolling down an inch or two for another straight in shot on that 8 ball. And finally, let's go back to the actual pool table and push play and see exactly where I screwed this up.
And that was it right there. And you can see I bump into the 13 and push it closer to the rail. When I shot that 15 ball, I just put a straight top on it. But the rail reacted a little bit different than what I'm used to. And like I said, I'm playing on a Gandhi here, and I love them. I'm not, I'm not uh, blaming the table here. I'm not pulling an Earl Strickland on you. I take full responsibility for that. You keep your head, and now the plan's a little bit screwed up, so you have to develop another plan. That 13 is now buried too close to that rail to get the shot that I needed on the 9 ball. And I'm a little bit further to the left side of this 11 ball than I'd like to be. I can't just hit a stun shot, and that's not going to get me on the 13. It's going to get me behind the 6 ball. Which, of course, would be a disaster. So, drastic measures here. I still need that angle on the 10 ball to stun it out, but not for the 14. I'm going all the way to the 13 line, and my aim point on that stun shot is straight into the 9 ball because I don't want to go too far here, so I'm using that 9 ball to stop the cue ball. And that way I'll have the perfect shot on the 13 to just uh, pull a stop shot or stun shot and be right on that 9 to get off that rail and straight in on that 14. And you know the plan from there. The issue is, can I do this? Can I handle it? Can I adapt? Can I adjust? I actually like this pattern better than the original pattern. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's do the loop back and check it all out from start to finish. What do you think? Thank you guys for coming by. I'll see you Friday.